What's going on YouTube and welcome to Metal Punk Reviews. Uh, the past couple years, um, schools all around the United States have been pissing me the absolute fuck off. Uh, I've been I've been reading stories that that make you go, what the fuck? Or are are you shitting me? And the sad thing is, they actually the schools are actually serious by they are disciplining students for the stupidest fucking reasons. I know some kid got uh, last year I believe some kid got suspended for wearing a United States Marine Corps T-shirt for support of his dad who was a Marine at the time. <clears throat> and uh, a school, uh, I, I know that, that, that this actually went uh, very, very big uh, when it happened, but um, uh, a school uh, banned American flag shirts because the Latino students found it offensive. Like, really? <clears throat> Are you that un-American to where you're just gonna ban American flag shirts like that? Principal needs to be fucking like slapped hella hard or sent to Russia or some shit. But this year, we're not even six months into the fucking new year, and I've already read over six stories of probably seven. There's probably seven incidences that I've read that made me want to go down to the school and bitch slap whatever principal is there and whatever teachers were involved. The, f the first incident I heard uh, was, uh, I made a video on this before, um, it's this kid named Grayson Bruce who was a brony and he brought a My Little Pony backpack to school and he got bullied for it and I know a lot, a lot of people are saying well he deserved it, no he didn't because he's actually man enough to say hey I like the show, you know, whatever, but the school just said don't bring the backpack and the problem will go away. How how is that gonna stop the problem? Okay, that's gonna make that's gonna continue to make it worse. Okay, because he doesn't bring the backpack anymore, the students that are bullying him are still gonna know he's a brony and they're still gonna harass him. So finally, after a week, the school got their heads out of their asses and said, "Okay, you know what? We made a mistake. You could bring the backpack still, and we'll deal with the bullying problem head on." Then. After that, about a, two weeks later, I heard, uh, I, I read a story about a girl, a sixth grader, who basically stopped a kid from cutting himself at school, and instead of getting praised for what she did, she got a 10-day suspension, which she only had to put up with five days, and she got written up for expulsion. And I've never had to do with anything. I, I've never had to, you know, go up against uh, expulsion or anything. I, I've got suspended once, but different story. Uh, so I don't really know what happens to get expel, uh, expelled. The article I read said that she had to go against like the the, the school board or something, state her case, whatever. So I, I I don't know. But apparently they let her back in school. But she stopped a kid from cutting himself, and the school's reasons for suspending her was she was holding the razor blade. All she did was take it from the kid and th throw it away. But no, you held the razor blade, you get suspended. Like, really? It's... Then I read <clears throat> a story about this mom who got a call from her son's teacher saying, you know, he's having a panic attack, can you come calm him down? Because apparently his, mo uh, his mom is the only person who could. So she shows up at the school and apparently it's, um, in order to be, in order to get into the school, uh, you need to, um, be let in, like, buzzed in or something. So <clears throat> apparently someone at the desk knew who she was. So she buzzed the mom, so whoever was at the desk buzzed the mom in. So so she said, I need to take care of my son. I think his name was Michael, I believe. Uh, and so she went to take care of her son. Next thing she knows, <clears throat> the principal came up to her and said, you know, we called the cops because, you know, we didn't know who you were because she didn't sign the book. So the mom got escorted out of her son's class in front of her son who was already having a panic attack and the students and the teacher brought out of the parking lot, searched, and arrested. And the school went on a 12-minute lockdown because 
she the mom didn't sign the sign in book. So if no one knew who the mom was, why the fuck was she buzzed into the school? And uh, get this, the mom said that she talked to the principal the day before this happened about another issue that was going on. So unless unless the principal is <clears throat> having some weird short-term memory loss, there's no excuse for that. That is highly unprofessional to do to a child and to his, his class, to have his mom escorted out by the police and arrested in the parking lot. That is very unprofessional. And after that, like literally like right after that, there was an article about a nine-year-old girl who got suspended. You're probably wondering what was so bad that a nine-year-old got suspended for. She shaved her head in support for her best friend who is going through chemo because she has cancer. Now, everyone who is involved with that suspension needs to be fucking fired and never to be te never to teach or become a principal again because that is probably the most single-handedly fucked up thing you can do. Suspending a nine-year-old girl for supporting her cancer-riddled best friend. That is no heart right there. <clears throat> then I read a story that a kid, uh, he, even though he said he voluntarily did it, but he was obviously forcibly uh, had to leave his <clears throat> his track team because he had a mohawk for months and no one said shit about it but he dyed it pink to support his mother who was battling breast cancer and on top of that two of his aunts had breast cancer and one of them passed away from it and all because the coach said it's not part of the uniform you know, you know what? If that was me, I would have said, you know what? Fuck your uniform and fuck you. Okay? That is, again, totally unfucking professional. Okay? This kid is supporting his fucking mother who has breast cancer, and you sit there and you say, either you need to shave the mohawk or leave the fucking team. That motherfucker ne needs to be punt fucking fired and jumped in the fucking parking lot, man. I swear. But, um, and then recently, uh, like last night I found an article, uh, about this kid who, uh, is in middle school. His name is Ethan. He got suspended and put under, uh, um, what is it? Psychiatric evaluation for twirling his pencil in math class. Yeah twirling his fucking pencil in math class and he got a seven day fucking suspension and put under psychological and physical evaluation. All because the dickhead behind him said, in, in the middle of class, this kid behind Ethan shouted, he's making gun motion, send him to juvie. I mean, I know it's New Jersey, but come on, really? But get this. The kid who said that was bullying Ethan the, di that, the whole day. And the school didn't want to hear Ethan's side of the story. So go figure, right? Fucking schools, man. I, I swear, like, there, there needs to be something to where the, if something happens like this, the school, whoever was involved gets fucking fired. Not suspended, not temporary leave, fucking fired. Just like in Pulp Fiction. So I'm gonna get divorced. All right, no marriage counseling, no trial separation. I'm gonna get fucking divorced. These guys need to be fucking fired. Plus, so this kid had to go to the hospital for five fucking hours, okay? He had to get blood work and urine tested to see if he was on any drugs, okay? Then he had to wait four fucking hours for a social worker to come in just to talk to him for five fucking minutes. And then the social worker's like, okay, you can go back to school.
And people wonder why I, I hated school, why I hated going, why I hated everyone that was there, why I hated all the teachers. Now you fucking know why. These teachers take their fucking disciplinary action, these fucking principals too, take their fucking disciplinary actions way too fucking far. They, they think that just because, you know, they can suspend you like that, you can't do fucking shit about it. So, the, Ethan's dad is thinking about pulling him out of that, that school altogether. All because that's kind of fucked up thing to do is... But, check this out. The superintendent of that school said that, of course, they're going to stick up for the school. Because, you know, fuck the kids, right? You know, fuck the kids. No one cares about the kids. They... All, every teacher just cares about is a fucking paycheck every now and again, okay? Maybe you'll get, like, one or two teachers that are very fucking cool and all that, but 98% of them only care about a fucking paycheck. They don't care if if you get suspended. They don't care if you get detention. They don't care if you fail their class. All they care about is a fucking paycheck. So the superintendent said that Ethan was never removed from school. He was never actually suspended from school. So, there's something going on there to where some, some, something, ain't, something ain't connecting. And I kind of want to know what it is. And I have a feeling, someone actually commented in, in the article saying that, um, and this is true too, I, I've been through this before. Someone said that this looks like a situation to where to where the kid is being bullied by someone who is basically donating the most money to the school each year. So the school is afraid that if they discipline the student, there, go, there goes the money. You know, bye-bye. No more money. <laughs> because the school is singling out the child but instead you 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 sit here and you have you know this fucking then you have this fucking kid who is an outcast a loner socially awkward like like Ethan was oh yep suspend him just like that just go ahead and suspend him oh plus he needs to be put uh, before he comes back he needs to be put under psychological evaluation for twirling a pencil I seriously thought schools could not get any worse since I left, and apparently they have. I, oh, and the superintendent, the fuckhead, also, he also, um, tried to, uh, mention Columbine, and like, oh, you know, since, since Columbine, we take this shit more, more seriously. Dude, the kid was twirling, twirling a motherfucking pencil. Just because some dickhead wanted to start shit, that doesn't mean he needs to be put under psychological evaluation. And I'm, I'm seriously saying that these schools need to get their heads out of their fucking asses and start doing their fucking jobs by listening to both sides and actually thinking... Gee, which one sounds more fucking appropriate? Every school in the world blew up. I wouldn't fucking care. Personally, I really would not care. Because then it, it, it would stop the frustration of all this, all this bullshit that's been going on. Okay? And um, it's kind of funny because uh, I, I, read, uh, I read a quote from uh, Tupac who, when he was 17 on education. Schools aren't teaching you what kids really need to fucking know. You're not going to walk into a store, buy a soda, and be like, okay, it's X plus Y equals 3. Find X and Y. You know, you're not going to you're not gonna get a job at fucking McDonald's and use the fucking Pythagorean theorem. These kids need to know what really goes on in the world. Okay? Yes, 
you need to learn some math, okay? Basic math is what you need. Okay, you do need basic... When am I... Okay, I sit here and make, make these videos all fucking day. When am I ever going to recite fucking Shakespeare? Okay, never. I'm never going to recite, recite Shakespeare. Or am I going to recite... You know, or am I going to connect anything to fucking 1984? Or Animal Farm? Okay, I'm never going to sit here and give you guys a fucking history lesson on World War II when my fucking rant is on a fucking gaming company. These kids need to be taught actual fucking real world problems. Okay? This is... And having these teachers and principals discipline students for the stupidest fucking thing is just making it way worse. Make it way worse. And it's disappointing very, very much. So, that's that's all I gotta say. Um, you know, like and favorite if you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe for more. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you guys have had any, you know, bullshit uh, penalties, I guess. Let, let, let me know what they are. And let me know what why you got it. Uh... Please hit the subscribe button for more rants, reviews, unboxings, and news stories. And I'll see you guys in whatever episode I got next. Later.